Hello everyone, my name is NJ Cho, but you can call me John. I am a South Korean immigrant who lived in Texas for about, I would say, 10 years and then has been living in San Francisco for the past maybe two to three years. So my favorite location on campus, I would state, would be um, probably at the top of the dish. I think it has an amazing view, but at the same time, the hike itself is very refreshing. And of course, the installation of the satellite dish is also pretty fantastic. And my major is energy research engineering, or at least my undergrad was as well. I'm currently a co-term student who is also studying energy research engineering with the focus of energy policy and energy law. And the ERE department drew me because of my inspiration to sort of help people. Now, of course, there are many different ways to help people in this, uh, in this world, but I believe that energy is impacting on every front of every career. And if we do not solve our energy crisis, then we will not be able to tackle the environmental or the expanding industrial problems or the economic problems that we are facing in this country today and of course around the world as well. During my weekend, I think the perfect weekend activity would be, well, other than sleeping, I suppose as a student, would be in my daily hikes and my week weekend hikes that I do take with my family and my dog as well. Especially during these times in the pandemic, I think taking the time to appreciate our surroundings more and just spending more time together with our family is just so important for us to have in our daily lives or even during maybe our weekends as well. Currently as a co-term student, I am trying to master my analysis and optimizing skills in terms of how to undertake any energy problems that we face currently. That could of course range from the policy of energy side where we have to analyze the policy that the current administration, governmental administration has in terms of energy uh, and environmental aspirations. And by analyzing it, we can see what the problems are and therefore we can either modify or even just set up new policies that would help us improve our environment, improve our economics and improve my energy efficiency around the world. But of course, it could also just be the range of the policy down just to the, the engineering and economic side. The range is huge, but of course it all starts with data analytics. It all starts with how we can see what the problem is by either data or by just policy analysis. In terms of the differences between academics and industry, for me, I believe it has to be two sides of the same coin. In terms of the energy field, if we do not understand the rate of how technology is advancing, we will not be able to implement our energy efficiency to the grid itself, and therefore industry then comes into play. Industry needs to be able to be on top of the economics and top of the advancing technologies and the advancing policies that we are currently facing today. And so therefore, I think they both feed on top of each other. And it's safe to say both are very important. For me, currently I'm in the academic field, of course. However, I can definitely see myself diving into the industrial sector as well. Chicken or goats? Hmm, I would say probably goats. Um, I have nothing against chickens, but I think goats I can sort of relate to closer. I don't know. I don't know how that question works out. Favorite earth class? Well, the earth class contains, I think, a lot of different variety of classes. For me, I have favorite ERA classes. Um, my favorite class is actually a uh, carbon capture class that Sally Benson actually leads. Um, it's a very interesting class that an undergrad can take that 
consists of technologies that we can implement today that would help reverse the effects of climate change. In terms of energy resource engineering, inside scoops, inside tips on this major, it's a very small major, of course, compared to CS or compared to PMED. I think a lot of earth classes are, earth majors are like this, but with the ERE department, it's just the idea of being able to face the music of the dangers of climate change, but of course not being too depressed about it. Um, for instance, I have taken many energy classes where the first messages of every class is the world is falling apart due to climate change and it's very depressing. However, many of these classes then utilize that message to turn about and try to figure out ways to reverse this through whatever they're trying to teach in class. So there's many lessons to do so. But the, I think the key point uh, and the key tip about this major is you cannot just be festering about one technique. I believe that you should broaden your perspective and see that there are multiple different answers. You cannot just say, for instance, that you go against nuclear power just because of just one aspect. You have to embrace the fact that every resource, every, every en energy resource brings about a pro and con into the aspect of things. And of course, one may be way better than the other, depending upon what you favor. However, you have to respect the fact that this world, with this energy crisis, will not be solved with one silver bullet. It has to be a multitude of different policies, multitude of different technologies that comes together for us to tackle this huge magnitude of a problem that every country, every world is sort of facing. My pet is currently downstairs. He's a um, chow mix with a Shiba. His name is Nugget. I'm happy to take my time to talk to you more about either the major or maybe my experience in terms of as an undergrad of ERE and the transition to masters. If you have any other questions in terms of anything related to energy or anything to, related to just living as a, a student in, the, uh, in Stanford, hit me up. If you're ever interested in doing archery, you can also hit me up as well. I am currently in the Stanford Archery Club. So that's just another side project that I do once in a while. And yeah, I hope everyone is staying safe. Please be careful during this pandemic. I know that we are currently at a stage where some people may consider themselves safe, maybe because they have been able to receive a vaccine somehow, uh, or maybe because they just consider themselves because they haven't seen the effects of the pandemic hit them uh, in their community. But please, please be safe. Uh, our health should always be number one priority. Um, so take every precaution you can think of. Be cautious until the very end. Do not always be vigilant. Do not be complacent with where you are, both academically and also health-wise. Please reach out if you ever have any questions, and I'm always, you know, in front of my computer these days, so I will always answer. Thank you. Have a good day.